स्टूडेंट्स हाव आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे विल सी स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड चैप्टर नंबर फोर चैप्टर नेम इज सॉर्टिंग मटेरियल्स इन टू ग्रुप्स नाउ सी मेन वन चूज द करेक्ट ऑल्टरनेटिव फ्रॉम दोज गिवन बिलो इच क्वेश्चन एंड राइट इट्स इंडेक्स लेटर अल्फाबेट इन द बॉक्स प्रोवाइडेड अगेंस्ट इच क्वेश्चन वन मार्क इच इच क्वेश्चन कैरी वन मार्क सी द नंबर वन Which of the following is a round shape? A orange, B table, C compass box and D book. Answer is option A orange. Number 2. Which of the following is not made of iron? A window, B chain, C bag and D gate. Answer is option C bag. Question number 3. Which of the following is not made of leather? A shoes, B wallet, C belt, C car tires. Answer is option D car tires. Number four. Which of the following is a shiny in appearance? A plastic, B paper, C copper, and D leather. Answer is option C copper. Number five. Which of the following is not soluble in water? A sugar, B salt, C chalk, and D copper sulfate. Answer is option C, chalk. Question number six. Which of the following is soluble in water? A sand, B sugar, C kerosene, and D wax. Answer is option B, sugar. Sugar is a soluble in water. Now see the question number seven. Which of the following floats on a water? A iron, B glass, C ice, and D sand. Answer is option C. ice ice floats on a water number 8 which of the following liquids is immiscible in water a vinegar b kerosene c coconut oil d petrol answer is option a vinegar is immiscible in a water number 9 which of the following is a transcul translucent a spectacle glass b sand glass c water and d mirror Answer is option B. Sand glass is a translucent. Number ten. Which of the following is a opaque? A glass, B water, C air, and D marble stone. Answer is option D. Marble stone is a opaque. Now see the main two. Answer the following questions in a one word. One mark each. Each question carries one mark. See the number one. List two round object. Long, round objects list are ball and playing marble. Number two. List two objects made of plastic. Answer is water bottle and a bucket. Number three. List two objects made of glass. Window panes and glass bowl. Number four. Write the name of two solid materials that are soluble in water. Answer is salt and a sugar. Number five. List two transparent materials. Answer is a glass and a water are transparent materials. Now see main three. Mark the following statements with a right if true, and uh, with a uh, wrong mark if a false in the given box against each. One mark each. Number one. Chalk dissolves in water. It's a wrong false. Now see the next page. Number two. Iron nail floats on a water. It's a wrong, false. Number three, a huge piece of ice sinks in a water. Sinks means जो पानी में डूब जाता है. It's a wrong, false. Why? Ice, ice cubes. It's a floats on a water. Now so number four, metals have a luster. It's a right. Now five, fifth one, petrol is miscible with water. Wrong, false. Number six, vinegar is a soluble in water. It's a right. Now see the main four. Answer the following questions in a one sentence. One mark each. Number one, on what factors does our choice of a material used for making any specific object depend? Answer is we choose a material to make an object depending on its properties and the purpose of use. Now see the question number two. What do you mean by a material? Answer is 
anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter the matter used in making object is called a material now see the question number 3 what is the importance of oxygen gas dissolved in water answer is oxygen gas dissolved in water is a very important for the survival of aquatic organisms see the question number 4 list five materials that float on water answer is wood plastic cork thermocol sponge and rubber number 5 what do you mean by soft materials answer is materials that can be compressed by hand easily are called soft materials see the question number 6 define translucian materials answer is the materials through which we cannot see clearly the materials through which we cannot see clearly are called translucian materials now see the main five answer the following questions in a sort two marks each number 1 in how many different categories can be material be classified on the basis of its transparency give two examples of each answer is a material can be classified into three different categories on the basis of transparency number 1 transparent materials glass and water number 2 opaque materials in that example are wood and iron and number 3 translucent materials means oily paper and sand or glass now see the number 2 what are the benefits of grouping materials answer is the benefits of grouping materials are as follows similar objects are placed together making them easier to locate next point is dividing materials into groups make it easier to study their properties now see the next page grouping also helps to study the patterns in the properties of metals material and next point is it becomes easy to make easy to take stock of the materials now we will see the mix uh, now we will see the main six in the next video part 2 stay safe stay healthy okay bye